Hello everybody, it's Todd, All Things Archery and Shooting. This is part two of my review on the Black Hunter um, Longbow. This one's at 50 pounds, 60 inch bow at 20 inch draw at 50 pounds. Today's going to be the shooting part of the, of, the, um, of the review. We're going to be shooting this bow through this corner graph here, and we're going to be shooting three different arrows that I have. Okay. Three arrows that I have are, I've got one that's a carbon arrow, it's 400 grains. It's about eight grains per pound. It's a 50 pound bow. I've got a 500 grain arrow. This is 10 grains per pound for a 50 pound bow. And then I have my hunting weight arrow, which is 580 grains. Okay, this is what I use to hunt with. And this is a wood portal for cedar arrow I made. This one's 580. We're going to see how these three arrows clock through this corner graph, see how fast this bow actually shoots. After that, we're going to head over to the range and we're going to do some target shooting with it and see how it actually feels, how it groups. Um, everything else. My first thing I want to mention about this bow is I just got this bow in the mail yesterday. I have not had a chance to shoot it, okay, except what I'm going to do here on this on this um, chronograph. This will be the first time I'm shooting this bow actually, okay. So we're going to just like pick it right out of the box and see the only thing I've done to this bow that's not from the box is I added my own bare hair rest to it. I don't like that little felt rest that came with it, so I added a bare hair rest to it, okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and shoot these um, Three arrows, we'll shoot each one five times and get an average of what the speed is, okay? All right, let's get this get thing started. Okay, okay, we're, okay, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna shoot five arrows for each arrow weight through this chronograph. We're gonna use the 400, the 500, and the 580 grain hunting head. And we'll record them and see what we're looking at one speed wise. Okay, let's move it. First to be the 400 grain arrow, I'm about 10 feet away from the, um, from the chronograph. Okay, first arrow, 400 grain arrow, carbon, shot through this bow. 176. One eighty one. One seventy seven. One eighty four. One eighty one. Okay. Go ahead and try the 500 grain arrow. This is a 500 grain arrow. This is 10 grains per pound. Let's see what it shoots. And I am shooting 29 inches, so my draw is a little bit heavy. It should be around 53 pounds this bow is pulling. So let's shoot this. One seventy-five. One seventy nine. One 
172. 181. Hmm. Some of these bows all over the place. Again, the bow's not broken yet. Yeah, this is the first shots I'm taking with this bow. Try the last one. 178. Okay. All right, well that's about five to six feet a second slower than the 400 grain on average. Let's try the full hunting weight now. This is the hunting weight, 580 grains. One fifty seven. One seventy three. His bow's all over the place. Maybe it takes some meat, his limbs take some breaking to get breaking in. I don't know. Let's try the next one. Uh, it's an error. Let's do that again. Uh, 161. It's not making any sense. <laughs> 165. And the last one, 169. Okay. Well, that proved to be quite interesting. Looks like this thing is all over the place. It's not very consistent. So I'm looking at about 168 feet per second for a hunting weight, about 174 feet per second for my 500 grain, and about 181 feet per second for the 400 grain. All right, so let's move on to the range, see how she shoots actually. So now get some real um, arrows on target, see how she handles. Very interesting. Okay, put some arrows down range. First time shooting this bow. Let's see how it does. It's got a little bit of twang to it. Definitely some string silencers. Wow, okay. Three more. Okay, everybody, we're going to go ahead and shoot these targets now. See this target here? I'm going to step off 20 yards and go ahead and shoot this target. See how she shoots at 20 yards, okay? 
I'm going to be aiming for this spot right here, right in the middle, so we'll see how we can do. I've got my standard Honeyway arrows for this, 580 grain arrows I'm going to be using. Let's see how she shoots. Okay, first shots weren't first shots weren't, weren't so good, but I say this is actually the first time I actually shoot a bow I'm not really used to it yet, so let's keep shooting and get some better shots. Again, stepping off the 20 yards. Okay. All right, it's a 20 yard group, not bad, probably, I don't know, maybe four inches right there. Um, that's pretty good. Let's try one more time. Again, stepping off 20 yards. Okay. Alright, second group. About the same. They made a little smaller, maybe three and a half inches. We're still not too bad at 20 yards though. Let's back out and try some of these 3D targets. Okay, we're going to shoot these targets here now. This is a um, Shooter's Field Logic 3D target. We're going to aim for this spot right here. So we're going to step off the same 20 yards, see how it works on this, on this deer 3D target. Let's take a look, see how it works. Well, first group's not so good. Open up about six inches, so let's see if we can do better than that. All right. Step off 20 yards again. That's a little better. So shoot a little bit high, but that's the same basic three inch group that I have, four inch group out of the other target. Let's try one more round. Ah, 
All right, one more time. Okay. There we go. Now that's a respectable group. That's three inches at 20 yards, okay? So I'm gonna stick with that. Let's go ahead and head over, check out, try the 3D hog, and then we'll see how it works on the, on the 3D hog. Okay, I'm gonna move this over to 3D hog now. Okay, we're gonna shoot this next. Aim it for right here. Let's see how it does on this um, 3D hog. Step off same 20 yards, see how it shoots. Okay. All right, there's the 3D hog. Got all three arrows, same by three inch group at 20 yards. I gotta tell you, this bow seems to pack quite a wob. It's blowing right through these 3D targets. I'm not sure how that's possible. I mean, I've got a 50 pound recurve that doesn't sink as deep as these arrows do in, this, in these 3D animals. But it seems like that longbow stored a hell of a lot more energy and it's got a lot more energy down range. It's just a little finicky. I think after more shooting with that bow, it'll get more calmed down, easier to shoot. But so far, I mean, for a $115 bow, I really can't complain. It's shooting wherever I'm pointing them at. So, I mean, how much work can you ask for? 